talking on their tongues like, what the hell is this guy going and talking about? So, anyway. <laughs> you okay? I'm loving this. You can laugh on radio. It's cool. Oh, if I start laughing, I'm going to end up snorting everything else in we, between. We love it. It's good for ratings, actually. <laughs> Let me introduce my guest right here, because I'm, I'm the, you guys are dying. Who in the world's in the studio on this rainy, crazy, overcast, getting ready to be humid day? <laughs> On my right, immediately, I have one of the uh, Hell's Half Acre girls who comes out and does what she does. She's nice, she's bright, she's got really outstanding eyes. I've always told her about that. They just stick out, they pop. They do. Well, and, thank you. and she likes a really good drink, too, every now and again. So. <laughs> and your name is? Ashley. Are you sure? Yes. Positive. Yes. I'm just making sure. I've had that name since birth. Let's hope I know it. My goodness, she came out with a Texas accent. Yes. <laughs> You are so southern. Oh, you haven't seen my southern side. No, I haven't. <laughs> no, you and don't you need, want to. You need to be a little bit closer to. Hey, there you go, right oh, wow. there. Oh, <laughs> I wouldn't put my mouth on that mic if I were. It wasn't on it. We had a group <laughs> last night that never mind. I'm kidding. I'm playing. Um, <laughs> and over there, <laughs> bringing up, I would say uh, the musical side of things because uh, she's a great musician. I met her at the singer-songwriter that we had here for Coker's Barbecue, and she, she actually placed in the contest. Um, I love her songs. They're like lounge songs. It just makes you want to have a glass of wine and just chill, and uh, happy songs on top of that. This is Kim Feel Good. How are you doing? Excellent. I know. Hope you don't mind me bringing my fish head. You know, she brought in a companion. Not the one she's married to. Well, he's also <laughs> a companion that is from the Truth Vinyl Records venue. Uh, what's this companion's name? His name is Noodles. Hi, Noodles. <laughs> Noodles is a mascot, you might say. Ah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to be taking pictures and posting that because uh, it's always cool to have a little flair in studio. It always is. You're a Louisiana woman, aren't you? I just got back from the Jazz Fest. My son at Motel Ooh. Radio played. Can you guys believe she went down to New Orleans? She didn't bring me any beignets or... You know, in any roux or anything like that. I can't believe it. I just want to try some of the gumbo from down there. You willing to cook that? Mm. I have uh, some alligator sauce pecan. Oh, I will take it. Love sauce pecan. I eat. I'm saying, I love sauce pecan. This is sauce pecan weather, actually. So, uh, you know, we're going to be talking about that as we're going forward and what we're doing. Anyhow, um, for those that do not know, because you two probably don't, I always have a subject of the day I talk about. It kind of loosens up your personality and kind of gets people to know who you are. And everybody has to chime in with their opinion. Okay. Subject of the day. I don't post it online because I don't want you to think about it. Every now and again, I might for reasons, but most likely I get you while you're here. Get you off the cuff. We're getting into graduations, and graduations usually mean people are leaving the coop and getting a job, usually. Usually, that's the case. I mean, that's, you know, that as in our society, you know, you get older, you graduate and so forth. I didn't really care for my high school graduation. I didn't go all day about that, but the thing is I just didn't care for it and didn't really want anybody there to see it except for my immediate family because I hate when all the attention's on me, especially in a place I didn't want to be. I didn't really want to walk across the stage. But the thing is, symbolically, you do that, you pass on, you're older, and you are out there. Or you go to college, and you graduate, and you're out there. With all that being said, being out there, and your parents love you, but they don't like you. They want to turn that room of yours into a, a den or a lounge or whatever it is because their job is done. I get that. They put up with you, fed you, got you through school. Now they're ready to do whatever that is. Mom's going to have a study or dad's going to have an office. Whatever's going to happen, they want you out. And they're still going to love you, but you got the tools needed for life as we see fit. And you got to get that job. So my subject of the day is what was your favorite or first summer job slash job when you got out of school because life hits you in the face i mean you got to interview you got to get a car you got to get your own money you don't have any more allowance whatever it is or your own place or whatever live with roof whatever you will get out there and parents will let you know yeah. <laughs> they will it doesn't mean they don't love you it just you got to get out there Summer is literally here. We have three weeks for the official summer to get here. 
the weather's getting hotter in Texas. The ads are out there on Craigslist and stuff. We're hiring now for this, seasonal, whatever. We're hiring. And graduations start this week in this territory. Mm. Well, they do. I graduated May 10th, 2014 from college. And I still, it still brings a tear to my eyes sometimes because my mother, who was passed on, wasn't there. But the rest of the family were here and, uh, you know, some good friends came. And I'm like, this is what she wanted me to do. Not something we elect to do. College people are kind of iffy about it. But the thing is, it gives you tools to be successful and move on and learn. But I see so many people saying, how come my parents gave me luggage for graduation? Because 